Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another video. And as you can see on your screen today, it's the first episode of the Chelsea career mode. Welcome to the next generation of FIFA 14. We're of course playing on Xbox One. It came through the post for me today as I'm recording this on the Friday. And uh, I, oh, I'm so, so ready to do a Chelsea career mode. As you guys know, I'm a huge, huge Chelsea fan. And uh, I've been wanting to do this massive career mode series for a very, very long time. So we're going to draw the Champions League group. So you can see we get AC Milan, Zenit St. Petersburg and Olympiacos. But uh, there are a lot of things to cover in the first video of a big career mode series like this. The first one is for me to say feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of the next gen content coming your way over the next few weeks, months and hopefully years on, uh, on this Chesnoy Gaming channel and uh, of course also let be sure to leave the video a like as well to let me know that you're enjoying this series but let's get all of the self-promotion stuff out of the way and get cracking with what we need to do this season of course as you can see on screen the board want a domestic cup this year whether that be the league cup or the fa cup they want one sort of domestic trophy alongside that they also want the league title as well and of course we're playing on world class you will listen i set it up not quite on legendary just yet it's a new engine i want to uh, i want to play a few games see what sort of uh, level i'm playing it if we're uh, we're doing okay on world class then we'll stay there if it's a little bit too easy then of course we will make that jump up to legendary like we did for the career mode series on fifa 13 now this is the squad or my first team 11 as we uh, as we start the series a lot of very very good players in this chelsea squad they've got great squad depth as well with uh, a lot of backup players in every single position also a lot of young talent as well that is definitely going to be going out on loan to try and get some first team experience that they won't necessarily get while one uh, i'm here at manager at chelsea so i'm going to send them out as you can see we've already got quite a few players out on loan unfortunately frank lampard looks like he's going to be retiring at the end of the season so we will need a replacement for him and as you can see i've set all of those youngsters for uh, for loan this season a full season long loan as well and also i transfer listed denver bar now of course we have fernando torres and samuel eto and personally I'm not keen on Denver Bar, so I am going to be looking for a replacement for him. You can see on screen the instructions that I've sent out for my scouts. We're looking for an attacker, we're looking for a defensive midfielder, a fullback, and a centre back. So if you have any suggestions whatsoever, leave those down in the comment section down below and I will do my best to go through each and every one and look in depth at each player that you suggest because we're looking to build not only a team that I want but a team that you guys want as well so uh, it's kind of a it's a group effort so we say so uh, as you can see we're starting to get some transfer offers in and uh, the first one comes from Inter for Fernando Torres now personally I love Fernando Torres despite all of the uh, the hate that he gets especially the past two or three years um, I have been a fan of Fernando Torres since he was at Atletico Madrid. I will stick by at my boy Nando, and uh, he is not going anywhere. So uh, he definitely will be staying. I will be rejecting all offers for Fernando Torres, but we are looking for another striker. So if I can get rid of Demba Bar and bring someone else in, that will be then I will be extremely happy with Torres, Eto, and a third striker. But as you can see, we're getting offers for a lot of players, but I'm not looking to sell anyone on. I've only put Demba Bar up for sale, and uh, as of yet. We've got fantastic squad depth, so I don't need to sell anyone on. We only need uh, perhaps a little bit of strength at fullback. We do need another striker. As you can see, we're going to put in an inquiry for Diego Costa as well as an inquiry for uh, for Sergio Ramos as well. Now, whilst we do have a lot of decent centre backs, JT isn't getting any younger, and crucially for FIFA 14 and for a video game, he's not getting any faster either. His positional sense will only take him so far in the game, especially at the higher reaches of difficulty settings. So uh, JT, whilst I won't sell him out of principle. He probably won't be getting too much playing time, so I am looking for another centre-back to uh, to perhaps partner David Luiz or go in as rotation with Gary Cahill. So uh, that's definitely one position that needs to be filled. As you can see, we're putting in an offer for Diego Costa at Atletico Madrid. Wanted to just test the water a little bit, because of course we want to move Denver Bar on, and I think Denver Bar could do well in the Spanish league. So uh, I put in the bid 17 million plus bar, but they rejected that. So uh, we're going to go in with a, with a cash deal. They want 30, but I thought I'll just test the waters again with a just a solely cash deal at, at 23 million and they did in fact accept that so we're going to offer Diego Costa a contract £90,000 a week is what he wants quite happy to give him that 5% goal bonus just to kind of make sure that he signs give him that extra incentive and we say his squad role as important first team player as opposed to uh, crucial first team player because of course he will be being used on a rotation basis with Torres and Samuel Eto'o. but that contract deal has been accepted 
the deal as a whole is done. We've made our first signing in this Chelsea career mode series. Diego Costa is coming to Stamford Bridge and I could not be more happy with that signing. As you can see as well, we're able to move on Demba Bar. In fact, he is going to La Liga to Atletico Bilbao. Perhaps a decent replacement for Fernando Llorente for them. Uh, so that is going to bring this first episode to a close guys we will have gameplay in the next episode as you can see we're on the day of the first friendly we've got Sosho, we've got Hoffenheim and we've got Bayer Leverkusen in the friendlies this first season so be sure to hit subscribe if you aren't subscribed already there will be a link to do so as an annotation on screen over that subscribe button and a link in the description unfortunately of course it's only the first episode so there won't be anything under the previously but in future uh, in future episodes I will leave an annotation on screen under the previously perhaps with uh, the actual video in video of uh, the previous episodes you can go and check that out if you have missed it but of course this is episode one so feel free to leave me a like if you could be so kind let me know that you're enjoying the start to this series leave me as many transfer suggestions as you possibly can and I'll do my utmost to make sure that we try and bring in some of the players that you guys want to see at Chelsea Football Club but that is going to bring this first episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching I will see you tomorrow with episode number two and uh, that's all from me so I will see you next time